Hello, my name is Lucas Rolim. I'm the head of machine learning at Herb.com. And I'll talk about how we improve our marketing performance and distribution in Google Ads, just like tuning and integrating us a lot of like Google tools and combining this with analytical insights and machine learning concepts. Um, this project started some time ago when Herb, as a company, decided that the thing, the machine learning thing and the marketing thing must work together to improve our distribution. And as Google Ads is one of our most important channels, we decided to focus in this channel to start. And since the beginning of this project, we set two clear goals in mind. And the first one was to increase our return of investment. And the second goal was like automate as much uh, manual process managing campaign as possible. With these two clear goals in mind, we initiate a joint venture from the machine learning team, the business analytical team, the marketing team, and also the Google Ads team in Toronto. But before I explain what we did in this project, let me contextualize you and explain about some steps of a machine learning project. Machine learning projects has a lot of different steps, but I'd like to highlight the three most important ones in my opinion. That is modeling, feature engineering, and data gathering. And modeling is much more about how your model will learn and the strategy that the model will use to learn something. And data gathering and like feature engineering is much more about uh, modeling feeding, the type of data, the type of signals that we're sending to our model that make it easier to this model learn about your problem, about your business. About the modeling step, like, to, uh, to explain what we did in this step is yeah, the short and simple question is nice. we, we did nothing. And we decided nothing because Google provided us a very good algorithm, the smart bidding algorithm that is trained and using customer data, data that we send to Google, private data that only Google have access, and a lot of information about similar customers from Google for similar industries, in etc. And we noticed since the beginning of the project that allocate like two or three data science for a bunch of months, you are very unlikely to, to beat the Google Smart Beating with performance. So we're focusing in the data feeding part of the project, that is the data that will feed the Smart Beating to, and make it learn better. In the data gathering, we implement a lot of different initiatives, but one of these initiatives was implementing all the Google Analytics enhanced the commerce events. That's a special kind of event that makes much more easy to track uh, customer product interaction, product performance, and also conversion funnel. We also implement a set of brand new customer dimensions, tracking like information for products and all kind of interactions between the products and our customers and different kind of behaviors. And to deal with like more sensible data, like profitability and margin, the data that we don't want to put in the data layer and make it available for everyone, we use the measurement protocol, Google measurement protocol. And with Google measurement protocol, like we get the information that we send to Google Analytics, enjoy this information with information for, uh, from our data warehouse in BigQuery and then like send this, this merged data to Google and it provides a, like a general overview of all kinds of behavior that our customer and product uh, has internally. So the last step of the three that I mentioned before is the feature engineering. And I mentioned the four most important uh, implementations that we did in this direction. And the, the first one was the profit implementation. Let's say like before we are sending the revenue data, the gross value of the product. But let's say I have two different campaigns, campaign A and campaign B. And if these two products have the same value, like $100, and I send a conversion for product A, with a margin of 10%, I gain like uh, $10. But if product B, I have a margin of like uh, 50%, it's like $50, it's much different. But if I send only the revenue, Google will not understand this difference and will optimize uh, these two products in Google Smart Meeting in the same way. If I send the profit to Google, you understand, the Smart Meeting algorithm, you understand 
that can be like can beat much less in this lower margin. And the second feature that we built was uh, about like some feature and uh, tweaks that was like removing outlier from our mar our margin, removing outliers from our profit data, and also implement different kinds of conversions because Google is not being understand better when the data follow a normal distributions. And like our data does not follow this kind of distribution if we don't, if we don't apply some kind of treatments. And the first one, like removing outliers, we, there's a lot of different techniques to remove outliers and we apply one of these techniques that is removing according like percentiles. And the second treatment was like uh, divide in distribution according to our product type. So we have tickets, travel packages, and hotels. And each one of these products, we map the conversion in one different conversion metric in Google Ads and Google Analytics. And the third and last tweak that we did was like a, uh, about boletos. And boletos is a special kind of payment in Brazil, like some kind of bill that you print and pay after the transaction happened. And like the conversion of payments in this kind of payment, uh, payment method is very low. Maybe like a half of only a half of clients pay, actually pay the boleto. And let's say again, I have two campaigns, campaign A and campaign B. These two campaigns have the same, pro the products of these two campaigns have the same value, but in one campaign, like product A, I pay with credit card and in campaign B, I pay with boletos. Okay, so Google Smart Bidding, we optimize the same way because like same value, same number of conversions. But product B, only half of the clients will pay, We actually pay after the transactions. So it's much more interesting to like bidding more for campaign A, where a customer pay with credit cards. So we send only the transactions where the customer pay the first part of the boleto uh, to Google Ads. So it will understand a lot better the conversion rates according to the different payment methods. And with these implementations, with these tunings and optimizations in these different uh, steps of a machine learning product, we achieve uh, a great uh, increase in our margins, in our return of investment in Google Ads. And we are also noticing a reduction in the amount of work that we need to manage in our campaigns. Optimize travel through technology.